back to my YouTube. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Zoisha. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I really hope y'all can see me. But I need to. Anyways, it's dinner time at the Wallace residence, and on today, on today's episode of Cooking with Me, we're gonna make bully beef. Hey, cooking with me, we're gonna make. Bully beef. <laughs> so as you guys knew, I boycotted bully beef, but your girl's balling on a budget <laughs> for the next long while. And so, you know, we had to cut back on the goat and the chicken and the fish and stuff and stick to tin food. So we're living off of tuna, um, beans, um, which sometimes can be very dear, bully beef, um, mackerel, I don't mean name them something there, sardine, I don't mean to name them something there, and what else, what else, what else? Yeah, one bag of things. So today we're going to cook some bully beef. So... As you see it here, we have the tin bully beef from Grace. Yeah, me never um, here for it is the brand that I prefer to use because Grace have one bag of fat on it. But um, here for it is not on sale. And then you know you have your con because who you cannot eat bully beef without con. Like what is bully beef without con? So let's get into it, shall we? All right, step one. May I make rice with mine here? Yeah? White rice, white rice and bully beef. Who eat bully beef with rice and peas? Cause I don't know where that's a go. White rice and bully beef and thing, yeah? So. Don't fall over. So, we're gonna get our pot. People, what is it there for the pot? Wait there. We'll find it. <laughs> So we're gonna put some water in a pot. I'm mean, not really want to show one of my sink right now, you know, become a dish them off a wash, but like almost a dish them off a wash, yeah. We're gonna put um some water in a pot, you know, for rice, yeah. That's enough. And then we're gonna put that on the stove. Like that. Then we're gonna turn it up. I, 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 I. Cause we want the water to boil up fast. You know, cause we wanna have time for we so we have to sleep soon. You're gonna dash little um salt in there. You're gonna add some butters, but I like to add the butters after because sometimes I feel like I'm putting too much water and then I have to tear it and then I have to tear it out. I have to pour it out and then they pour the butter is like I'm wasting the butter, so I'm rather. Put in the water first, see how much rice me I'll go put in there first and then after that. So now me I'll go wash the rice and soon come here. Um so I slightly apologize for uh not coming back to you guys soon enough, but um so this is the rice, yeah. I did wash it and put it in there and I use basmati. I use basmati rice, yeah. So yeah, it's in there now. It's a it's a bubble up, bubble up, bubble up a little bit. You know, you put it in there where enough water where it can cook up a little bit, and then after that, I'm gonna add a little fire paper over it, and then just make it steam. Yeah, white rice supposed to steam. It's supposed to soften. It's supposed to add and greeny, 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 greeny. Yeah, so I that's a one right now. Pump, pump, what's up? One, see, make that just a little bit more, and then after that, you let me say you you do whatever, whatever, whatever. Now on to the fun part. I'm gonna take my not have no friend pan. Let me can't use. She's back. So when it gets to like this point where you start, see the little circle them come up, our holes them, I should say, come up. Yeah, you're gonna add oh, what is no man, Jesus Christ. Well on people, this a camera, this a phone, yeah. Uh, yeah, before my camera really interrupted me, me did I forgot true uh 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 put on my something them by myself but yeah see it here yeah when the holes them start show up and you, and you can still see look water you draw for the file paper and you put it on the parts then you cover the parts you cover the part you turn your stove down low 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 like low 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 and you make it steam out yeah 
Now on to the bully beef. For the bully beef, we're gonna need some onions. We're gonna need some scallions. And, hello, don't be rude. You're also gonna need some tomatoes. But you see, because I like to eat my tomatoes and my cucumbers on the side, I'm not gonna put any tomatoes in it. And then I'm gonna substitute it for the corn. Now, major, major, major key for when you're cooking bully beef. Major key. Find the bully beef tin with the key. If it don't have the key, it's gonna, it's not that difficult, but it's annoying. You just wanna, you know? Yeah, so try to find one that come with the key and don't be too um, rough because you can't tear off the part here. Yeah? If you tear off the part here, yeah, I don't know the struggles, yeah? Alright, so you have your frying pan, yeah? We're gonna turn on the stove. You're gonna add a little bit of oil. I'm gonna see what I want. You're gonna add a little oil. You don't want to open up the next aisle, you know? Oh my god, and garlic! How could I forget garlic? Hey, how you're gonna add some little oil, <laughs> and then you're gonna add your little vegetables. So now I'm gonna chop up my garlics. People, my foot on after flush. So I'm gonna cut up my garlics. Up your garlic. Okay. You and I both know that we've been through so much. So much negativity around us, but we found us, baby. Never thought I'd see this face again. Never thought I'd see this face again. Okay, chop up your onion. And then you're gonna get this. My garlic decided that it wanted to burn a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, so you're just gonna, you know, stir, stir it around, right now. Every now and then it'll fall apart. And I need you now tonight. And I need you more than ever. And then I I don't know the words to every song, guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, you get the dick of drift. Yeah, don't turn your stove up too too high. Yeah, you know you just want to get the the the, the little uh seasoning scent. I'm sitting on sitting in it, and yeah, you know, yeah. So yeah, you have that to go on and fling anything with fallout in and ray. Yeah. Right, so for this part now. We're gonna open up the bully beef. I don't know why this thing is being so difficult, but yeah, so you're gonna put your key inside the lock. You're gonna twine it. Yes, goody. I don't can't open up bully beef tin about So yeah, you just keep on a twine it, twine it, twine it, twine it, twine it, twine it, so till it come up. Yo, I'm the perfect bully beef opener, eh? All right, no, me not go cook all of it because, yeah, we're not, we're not go cook. But this is what I mean when I say it has so much fat. Like, Grace Owen just always have one whole heap of fat on it. See, I'm just going to cook this off, yeah. Place it right in there. And then I'm just going to take a little spoon, spoon no? one little fork, and just break it down, yeah? It just breaks it down. This is 
really hard to do with one hand, by the way, people. So I'm gonna deal with this and then come back. Okay, okay, bye. So I'm sweating. I don't know why every time I cook in this kitchen, it's so hot. And my sweet husband is not home. He's gone to work. He didn't even come home today. He just went to work and worked overtime. Because we have a wedding to plan. And we need more buddies. <laughs> no, but for real, it's so weird. Like, when he's not home. Yeah, some days it's great, but you know, like, that's my best friend. So anyways, um, I skipped a lot of steps, but, um... Yeah, it doesn't look that great without the flash. Hold on. There we go. So, yeah, I just add a little oil even in case it dry out. I add my corn and the most important ingredient, I add a little ketchup. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to make this one. And ting. And that is really it. Bully beef is super simple. And my rice. Must done you know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mmm. So nice and buttery. Oh my god. Yeah, that done. This one done. Turn it pan minimum. And that is cooking with Zoe. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode where I taught you guys how to make bully beef corn and white rice um if there's anything else y'all want me to teach you guys how to make drop it in the comments below and i will do that in the next episode of cooking with z uh -uh, i ain't no chef so i ain't gonna be doing all of that but yeah so yeah um yeah I just decided, you know, Bae's not home. I'm going to pick up my camera and vlog a little bit. Don't mind my house. It's a very, it's in a very devastation state right now. Like, I have barrel right here. So, I have more things for going out of barrel right there. So, clothes over there. So, if you need for full up. Mm, over here is not that bad. Um, but, yeah, like my video recording equipment is all out here and stuff like that. So, <gasps> this is off. No wonder why the place is so damn hot. I will turn off my fan. Jesus. But yeah, speaking of this barrel, I really need to tackle this. So if there's anybody there in Canada that wants to come help your girl pack this barrel, please to come. I don't even know if I showed you guys the end results or if you guys even were a part of the journey where I was making our letters for our engagement party. But I made these giant letters. I think I'm going to start making them and selling them. Um, but yeah, I did this one for the bride with a little veil. I want to bone up. And then I did this one for Mar with the little, um, what do you call him something again? Thai. Yeah. So yeah, and I think I'm going to send them down to Jamaica. They must be of some use, either at like a rehearsal dinner or something and maybe the girls can even use them for my bridal shower i don't know but i don't feel like throwing them away even though i'm gonna be doing other letters that fit more with our wedding decor but y'all will have to wait till after the wedding to get all of my like dress um decor diys all of that stuff y'all are gonna have to wait till after the wedding when i um well yeah, because I don't want to put them out first and then you guys know what the stuff are. I want to leave some elements of a surprise. That's why I haven't even really been talking to you guys too tough about it anymore. Um, I just feel like I'm sharing too much. Like, I feel like some stuff um, needs to be left to a surprise, which I feel like a lot of things are. Which I feel like a lot of things are because y'all still don't know what my dress looks like. Um, you guys have seen the bridesmaids dress, but you just don't know which one we picked and exactly the color that it's gonna be in Y'all ain't seen nothing in regards to the guys um, My mom got her dress. I never took you guys there to see that just cuz I want to leave some stuff a surprise um, But yeah You you I don't know like what 
updates do you guys want to know i feel like i just there's not really anything else left to really do um my engagement pictures i gotta do that before summer's over because you know it's nice outside um although i couldn't maybe do it next summer maybe um and then um My bridal shower is coming up. Um, and I, and then it's just waiting till the wedding day. So, so yeah. Um, yeah. And then today I had to go on a little rant. I'm gonna insert my snaps here. So I had to let people know, like, yo, like, don't be, don't be coming at me, like, people don't understand that when it comes to your wedding, y'all gotta pay for every single thing. Every single person you're inviting is a, like, that is a fee. And depending on how much a plate costs, a, a chair costs, that type of stuff, like, all of that shit is going into consideration. The more people you're hiring, the more people you're hiring. The more people you invite is the more you got to pay for food. Um, you get what I'm saying? Some places charge $20 a head depending on your menu. You get what I'm trying to say? You got to pay for chairs. So the more people you invite is the more chairs you got to rent. Um, the more the more plates you're going to need, the more cups you're going to need. When you think about the bar, you got to think about, okay, this person... Um, everyone maximum is such and such that means more liquor that means more this that means more that listen destination weddings are supposed to be small it's 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 already bad enough that i'm going to a place where i'm uh, my destination is 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 where family is rather than like me going to like mexico where only a selected number of people will come like everybody and then granny are coming and like it's was right now because the invitation's gone out. Like everybody has said, whoa, them I get married, Ray, 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 let me I forgot did it. So it's like even people that we did not even are now like chick chick. You get what I'm saying? So and to be perfectly honest, I just really want my family there. Like my friends who need to be there are taking part in some sh shape, size, or form. You know what I'm saying? So um and I don't really have that many friends. So it's not like that was like a big hoopla in regards to figuring out who it was. But I've, I've known so many people that I've never, I was not able to attend their wedding and it wasn't a big issue. So for like somebody who claims that we're so close, the fact that you're not, you're not invited, that should not be a reason for you to delete me off of social media. Like I just find that to be, so petty but at the same time like this journey has just brought me closer to who i needed to be brought closer to and cut let me cut off who i needed to cut off because going into this next chapter of my life i don't need this i don't need anything negative but i don't need any other negative energy coming from anybody else like you get what i'm saying so yeah like and i'm getting too old for this shit i'm i'm i'm, I'm a couple years shy of 30 oh sounds so gross but you get what i'm saying like i don't need that type of stuff in my life so yeah that's just where i'm at right now and i'm really disappointed because like it could have been it could have been um handled in such a different way like i could have ended up being like all right cool come like i initially said you were invited but like if you really and truly cannot make it to an event here in the same country i don't see how you're gonna 
book a plane flight, book a hotel for my wedding, but you couldn't come here. And even if you're, I'm not, I'm not even saying like, oh, just because you didn't come, you can't come. But like, I specifically said, yo, I can only invite such and such number of people. If you're not able to make it, let me know so I can let other people come who actually want to be there as well, who are not number ones, as bad as it is to say, who aren't necessarily number ones on my list, right? But these people decided, a lot of people decided that they weren't going to show up and they weren't even going to say like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it, like, which is common courtesy. Like if you're, if you're invited to something and you say you're going to come and you, the date comes and you're not going to be able to make it, just say like, yo, I'm not able to make it. So I know. You know what I'm saying? But none of these people decided to do that. She's never decided, oh, let me pick up the phone and call Zoe and see if she needs help with anything. Um, uh, if there's anything that I can do. Uh, let me just call her just to see how everything's going. You know what I mean? Like, general, like, hey, what's up? How's the wedding planning going? Da, da, da. Like, y'all don't know how much that helps. Like, you know? So, it's it's really no losses over here like i'm not losing in no shape size or form like i'm still winning i'm still gonna get married at the end of the day and like it's my best friend so i'm not worried about losing anybody else at this point in time so yeah but i think that's all for now i will see you guys in the next one thank you guys for tuning in today and yeah bye love you guys